What's up, Paris, Paris gang? So today we are eating King Taco. My favorite. Yeah, everything is Candace's favorite. She's about to die on our way home, y'all. I got a burrito. It's an all meat burrito, y'all. With green sauce on the side. And Candace, what you get? I got some carne asada nachos. Bomb. And I got a soap. I never had one of these, but I wanted to try it. How she ended up getting two things that I got? I was love. actually I supposed to have three. They didn't have She's chicken crazy. tamales. So. Crazy. And then I got a thing of red sauce. I love my spicy food. Show them how big her. Show them how big it was. It was four dollars. She was. She mad. paid four dollars for. Well, she wasn't mad, but I just don't understand. My mouth is watering. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I really don't. So first Let me get first. a fork. And best of food. Wait for me to bless them. I'm fine. I was getting the pork. I'm getting the spoon. It's fine. But yeah, y'all. So, as requested, we're going to do an insemination video part two. And it's perfect because we're inseminating all this week. So, you guys yeah. sing your prayers. Thumbs up. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I thought we were saying our prayers. Oh, you did. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Whatever. I'm coming back. Okay, guys. So. Hmm. Here we go. I actually, okay, it's this group. Danielle gets tired of me talking about like all the things that I find and all this other stuff. So I came across this group on this app that I'm using. It's called Premom. It's supposed to help you track your ovulation and everything. Oh, so bad. But anyway, it's supposed to help you track your ovulation and everything. So I, they had, it was like an ad or something like, oh, join our Premom app on Facebook. So of course I didn't have a Facebook. It looks like this, but it says pre mom. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little mom right there. It's a little baby. I mean, yeah. So they told us, told me to join this group. So I joined the group from Danielle's Facebook originally, but she told me I couldn't comment. And I swear to God, no, because I didn't want her comment whatever she was gonna be commenting. Because Candace be overboard commenting. Hearts, emojis, rainbows, all type of stuff. I don't want her coming from my page. Which I don't understand why you're like her on Facebook. Yeah, but she obviously is a bear. She don't want nobody to see that she's commenting up in a, a pregnant group. So anyway, <laughs> it's over like 3,000 people in there. And everyone's just like, you know, posting their like questions. They be like lying eyes. And I like the group a lot. I be on it till like 2 o'clock in the morning just talking, saying Ridiculous. congratulations and everything. So oh, anyway... So she didn't let me use her Facebook, so I ended up reactivating my Facebook, but only for the group. I love the group. If I have any questions or anything, I just go straight to the group because they know she's friends channel. with everybody in the group. They're cool. She like, think they're her friends. They're cool. So like, okay, like um, my whole burrito just fell. Oh wow! Just still eat it though. I am. Let me see. Let me let me have a little thing. Candies. Don't thing. put that red shit in my burrito. Okay. okay. Yeah, I actually like the group. Any question I have, I go straight to the group. They tell me it'd be cool. I like the group. I ain't gonna lie, the group is pretty cool. Only because a lot of stuff that we didn't know, we find out in the group. So it's cool. But she wasn't gonna be coming off my page, which is selfish. It ain't selfish. So it's any moms out them. there, or any moms out there, or just even if you're not a mom and you're trying to become a mom. It's this group. I'll leave the link. I don't know if there's a link. I can leave the name of the group in the um, comment section. And you guys should just join it. Like, even if you have questions, you don't have to be ashamed. Like, they'll answer them. Just anything. I like the group. She loves the group. Okay, so. You guys wanted to know, like, what were all the things we were posting the other, yesterday on our Insta story. Hi. Mm-hmm. Hello. Talk about Alright. So one thing we posted was ovulation test. This one of the ovulation tests we posted. This one right here. This is one that she she been using these for a long time. Is this the Target brand? Yeah. It's just a basic ovulation test that she used every day. And then this one right here. This is another test. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is a pregnancy test. We buy a lot of pregnancy tests because some tests will say you're pregnant, some will say they're not. 
I learned this from my group. Don't be they t in the group, the group says stay away from pregnancy tests that have blue ink. So when they say blue ink, I don't even have one because we don't buy them. But the line that say like you're pregnant or you're not pregnant, it'll be blue. And those tests, they, they seem to lie because the ink seems to fade. So you'll think you're pregnant and you're not. Learn that from the group. These right here are ovulation predictor strips, which they say are like the best thing to predict your ovulation. They're pretty no, expensive, right. but oh yeah. Can you guys see? Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but she do those twice a day to predict her ovulation. Just to see, like if this is my peak. Peak, I'm um, peak is like right before you're about to ovulate. Yeah, so she do them twice a day. And what you were about to ovulate, or you did ovulate? Right? Yeah, well, the app. Come and find out, you guys. Okay, so we bought some of these. These are actually a Wal Walgreens brand, but we bought some of these from CVS. It was a CVS brand. Come to find out, I was I was using them, but they're expired. So basically, all those ovulation tests showing back. It was those ones. No, the ones on the paper. Oh, they're. I'm assuming they're wrong because they expired two months ago. So the double lines are basically saying like I'm supposed to ovulate and so it's supposed to be two dark lines, not a dark and a light. A dark and a light means there's no, oh my nose broken, there's no LA surge. So I feel like I misread like for all last week and this week and I only found out that they were expired because I went to purchase another one and the guy was like, oh, let me see if we have some more in the back because these are outdated. So, of course, I'm like, okay, since they're outdated, I'm like, when's they outdated? He said last week. They didn't outdate last week. They've been there for a long time because I checked the one. It's upstairs right now. I checked the one I have here, and it expired. I'm like, wow. So, I yeah, went so, to Walgreens. Yeah, basically, all the tests here are expired. So, we're going to throw these away. We have been logging her ovulation every single day. And these is all probably just not accurate. So, that's right. why we went and bought these. So originally, I'm supposed to ovulate, according to the app, Thursday and Friday. I have two apps. One says Friday, yeah. one says Thursday. So we're inseminated till Sunday. It's a seven day, we started yesterday, mm -hmm. six day process. Yeah. You gotta um, show up the tea too. You don't have the tea. Mm. Tell her where you found the tea at, babe, in that group. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell them where you found the tea. I found the tea in the group. I was looking at the group and they showed this tea that they said helps with ovulation mm -hmm. and it regulates your menstruation. And obviously a lot of other people use this tea too because when we posted on our Insta story yesterday, a lot of other people was coming and saying that they use this while they was pregnant. It's called raspberry leaf tea and yeah. They have she a lot of brands. Brand. This is the brand I found. Yeah. We got this where at Target? Mm-hmm. Target. Yeah, we got this at Target. And then I got this one because when you're inseminating, you want to be relaxed, you want to be calm. You also want to get a good night rest. I read that in my group. <laughs> so I got this yogi bed. I don't know if she get no good night rest. It tends to be up all night on the group. I be in a group, but I've been taking this and like, you know, I be sleeping good. I've been sleeping at 10 o'clock. I usually wake up like 8. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say about the group and I feel like they're real supportive because they be giving her a lot of like encouraging messages when she first found the group she put her like our story on there and it was real nice to her and stuff so I, I am happy that she found somewhere like that because I, I don't know like I listen to her but after a while I don't be feeling yeah, like talking sometimes so I feel like that's a good thing that she found that group because you know everybody needs somewhere else to you know vent yeah. and and sometimes vending to a That's person cool. is not always worth, like, you know, if, if they don't want to talk about it. But that group, you ask them anything. And it's so sad because, like, you never know who else is going through what you went through in the world. Like, and it's a lot of people going through way worse things mm -hmm. than what we went through. And, like, you know, we love our son. But a lot of people, like, you know, are going through the same thing you're going through. So I really like the group. It's like a support team for me. Yeah, so anybody out there... Is going through what we going through. Y'all should check it out. Mm -hmm. It's called it's called Get Pregnant Fast with Pre Mom. It's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I love it, the girl. But it's a really big group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have these little things 
Like they be using some weird abbreviations. So one night I stayed up to like two forty five in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I woke up, I had all these messages to my phone, like what the word like what the abbrevi they it's fertility abbreviations. Of course Candace will go on Google and eventually find out what they mean. I saw them all. Yeah, she's crazy. Like for one, I'm gonna just give you an example because this one is so funny to me. So if they get like a positive, I have to use them all. Because it's so good. If they get like a positive, and like you can barely see the line, or just if they're just like halluc like you know, when you want to get pregnant, you're gonna see a line. I'm rolling because you was gonna say hallucinating. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be two lines. They'd be like, Do you guys see a V V V V V F L? That's like a very, 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 very funny line. It's just so crazy because the people when I grew up there just fun, but people on there they don't like judge you or anything. It's all yeah. the type of people on the app. It's even guys in that in that group. Yeah, that's what she be telling me. Like, it's guys in here, like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm supposed to wanna be on there. Chit chatting. Mm -hmm. Even if she don't, I'll be on it. We be we supposed to be watching a movie and I'll be in the room. Yeah. I don't know. Like last night. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Anyways, y'all. So if y'all got any more questions, comment down below. Hit us up on Instagram. Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. Wait, I didn't show them this one. Look. And it's also this clear blue. Pregnancy says like I got. I never tried these before, but I wanted them. I'm kind of like the digital things. It's supposed to say not pregnant, pregnant. It's free. So we have six pregnancy tests. Yeah. We're praying. You guys, so pray yeah. for us. Keep us in your prayers and all that. Because we need our twins. Okay, we're trying to cleanse y'all. Sorry. We was eating a lot today. We was real hungry. I'm always hungry. I'm starving. Yeah. Y'all know Cam's always hungry, but I was starving. We'll see y'all next time, though.